All right, so I've got the brightest workout gear on that I could find tonight. I am super pumped to talk about getting a tight bod and a tight ship. And Amanda Russell is going to be our expert tonight. She's going to be telling us how to do both of those things. She just started or founded an online community called FitStrongAndSexy.com. Amanda was one of our first YFE profiles way back in the day. And since then, she's done insane things. So make sure that you stay tuned through the entire 30 minutes that you use the hashtag YFE chat. And we also have the call-in line open. It's 855-4YFE. <laughs> Make sure, 415-4YFE. Make sure that you call in and ask Amanda your questions. So you're watching YFE Chat, the live show that happens every Thursday night at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 Eastern here at YFELive.com. Replays are also available on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash YF Entrepreneur and on iTunes. Tonight's show is episode 75. It's brought to you by Oval Eye TV. Oval Eye TV hosts and produces live video events built to meet your objective. Visit ovalai.tv to find out more. And by MailChimp. MailChimp is the best way to design, send, and share email newsletters. You can get started today at MailChimp.com for free. And so, like I was saying before we went in through into the intro, Amanda Russell is our guest tonight. She just founded Fit strongandsexy.com. She's been a YouTuber over the past few years. She's an athlete. She's a model. She has an MBA. I mean, the girl has done crazy amounts of things and she is ripped. So I'm really excited to find out how she's able to conquer everything. And on top of that, she goes from Aspen to Los Angeles to New York City. She travels all the time. I don't know how she does it. So I'm really excited to talk to her shortly. Before we bring her on, though, I wanted to make sure that you know of a couple things that are happening within YFE. We've got our Bootstrap Book Club. We're reading A Place of Yes starting on Monday. We've got a kickoff event happening here on YFELive.com at 9 a.m. If you're in Bootstrap Book Club, make sure that you read the post about how to contribute your rules for life. It's a three minute short video, really easy to do, telling us what your rules for life are and we'll feature you on the video now in the live event as well. So make sure that you check that out. Links, if you're watching live, are over on the sidebar, so click over and join. Our action calendar, today's action item, and I saw a few of you guys checking in in the chat. Your action item was to work out to Amanda Russell. So I did her six minute abs today, which is a favorite of mine since I've had my son a couple years ago. So it's an older video, maybe it was a year ago, I can't remember how long it was um, that I did the first one. Um, but it's intense. So if you guys haven't worked out yet, the beauty of Amanda Russell's videos are that they, they're like four minutes to 15 minutes long and you can fit them in no matter where you are, what equipment you have, it's really easy to do. So. If you haven't done it yet, make sure you do that. It's part of our action calendar. You can find it at yfe.me forward slash action calendar. And then, of course, um, make sure that if you're if you're working out, if you're doing things that are entrepreneurial, take a picture of it and tag it with YFE chat. Why? Because as Arel Moody, who was on um, our replay show recently, said, the more we see other people being successful, doing what they love to do, the more we think it's possible. So make sure that you spread the love, spread the inspiration, and take pictures of what you're doing and telling others how cool, not always easy, but very rewarding being an entrepreneur is. And then finally, um, yesterday's guest was uh, Carla White. She's the author of Idea to iPhone. She's giving away three of her books. Really exciting. If you go to yfe.me forward slash your first app, Go there and all you have to do is comment with a um, what your favorite apps are. So what, not only is that going to give you an entry to win her book, but it's also going to be an opportunity to be featured on the YFE blog next week. So make sure that you do that. It's really easy again and you're also helping the community out by letting people know about what cool apps are out there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, welcome Amanda on. Like I was saying, I'm really excited to talk to her because she was one of the first YFEs that we featured on the blog. Um, and before I before I give you her bio, I just want to make sure that you stay tuned through the entire 30 minutes because I have a couple other announcements to go on. But I'm excited to talk to Amanda. 
So Amanda is uh, is a top-rated fitness and lifestyle writer, professional keynote speaker, Olympic-trained athlete. I told you, the girl is ripped. A uh, celebrity fitness expert, model, spokeswoman, founder of FitSexyAndStrong.com, and one of the industry's leading experts in fitness, wellness, and change. Amanda has her own professional online workout channel and talk show and is named as one of YouTube's next top fitness trainers in 2012, and she definitely was. So, Amanda, thank you so much for joining us on YFE Chat Live. Oh, thank you so much for having me. This is such a great, great community of some of the most inspiring young women that are going out and doing things and making things happen. So I hope to hear from a lot of the community, too. I know. So really fast, before we um, get into some of the prepared questions that are more editorial, I want to remind everyone that's watching, it's great to tweet and chat, you know, with the YFE chat, but call in because you actually get to talk to Amanda. And that, I mean... Think about a trainer that you're speaking to at the gym or a business coach. That's expensive. So take advantage of it. Um, so Amanda, before we get into too much as far as the business, the business and the fitness stuff goes, like we mentioned, you're an Olympic trained athlete. That's a big deal. That's a huge commitment. So what happened? I mean, how did all of this come to be where you're now this online, the face of fitness online? Uh, well, I, I started out as a runner. Um, this this whole I think a lot of entrepreneurs know that when they get what they get into is not ever exactly you don't always plan for it, and obstacles always come in the way. And my dream was to go to the Olympics for running. Um, I actually went to the U I came to the U.S. I'm from Canada on a running scholarship, um, and then progressed from there. And my dreams were to go to the Olympics, and that was cut short with an injury that left me unable to run competitively. And I remember thinking, if I cannot go to the pinnacle of the athletic world, which is the Olympics, then I want to go to what I feel like is the pinnacle of the corporate world, which is New York City. But I did not have corporate work experience. I was coming from four years of running and training, and I kind of went through a bit of an identity crisis because I was a runner. Um, but I sort of, you know, as like anything, you kind of have to go through it, um, go through the bad times to get back to the good times and to remind you what you can take from that. Um, I did go to New York City. I took a job in consulting and it was a great, great company, high profile company. And, um, you know, thought that I had written my tickets to, you know, wear awesome suits and live on Fifth Avenue. And that was not the case. I was chained to a desk for 12 to 14 hours a day. And I remember thinking, I know what it's like to work hard. And I know what it's like to, you know, be passionate about what you do. That doesn't mean it's easy. It doesn't mean it, it, it's comfortable. But it's like a love-hate relationship. And that's what I learned from running. And I knew that this was not for me. That if I was going to work like this, I needed to own it and love it. And that's when I knew as well um, how much more running was than just exercise, how much more fitness was than just exercise, how it plays a part in your entire being from your career to your personal relationships. It is your head. It's 99% it's in your head. And I knew that I needed to get back to fitness in some way. And I wanted to do it in a way um, you know, I got back for myself, first of all, and I think that sometimes, you know, I think a lot of entrepreneurs can speak for this. They get into doing what they do because it means so much to them, to their lives intuitively, um, and they're so fiercely passionate about it. I think those are the best entrepreneurs because they, they're they invested personally. Um, and so I got into it literally for myself to figure out how to get back into shape without running um, and for my head and for my confidence. And that's how I started. I started little by little for myself and then um, decided to do an MBA because it was my way of being able to sort of leave corporate America um, but stay in New York City with a visa because if, you, if you're already an American citizen, you're already 10 steps ahead of where I was, um, but also give me the autonomy to be able to um, experiment and figure out what it was, that what I could do with this and how to build something in the realm of fitness and lifestyle on a bigger level because I really feel like not that I'm knocking trainers in any way shape or form but it true fitness true health and fitness is a lifestyle it is not spending you know a couple hundred dollars a few times a week for one hour a day in the gym um, with someone else standing beside you it is learning your body your mind what works for you and how do you give that to people on a macro scale as a 360 approach and I knew there was a way and um, I just started had to figure that out, and that's what I've been doing. So, I mean, all right, so 
That's a lot of stuff. And, you know, before we go too far into it, because you do, you have such an incredibly inspiring story about all the things that you've already gone through. Do you mind asking, this is not like a prepared question that you know I was going to ask, but like an age range of how old you are? Late 20s? I early... am 20. I'm late. I'm, I'm 28. You are 28. Okay, so I saw yes. your username, and it's the same birth year as me, and I was just like, oh, my gosh, what have I been doing with my life? This girl has is so accomplished. But um, No, no. Are you kidding? Aren't you hosting young female entrepreneurs? I've seen you come very, very far since that first blog post, so I'm, I'm very impressed. Oh, thank you, Amanda. But thank you. So, I mean, you've done all of this, but you've also modeled. So this was a big deal. So um, you've been a spokeswoman for, I remember at one point it was for a coconut water, I think, too. You were one of Zico. those. Zico. Yeah, a very large brand yeah. and gorgeous photos. How has that trained you Thanks. to work with brands, um, especially within your YouTube, you know, the blogger, more of like the personality piece, that the modeling? How has that trained you in, in working with brands? Um, that was sort of another stepping stone. I feel like when you're in the right space doing what you're supposed to be doing, things have a way of sort of um, coming to working themselves out. It was actually when I was doing uh, business school that I didn't have a U.S. visa and I was going to bartend off the books, which I was doing for a while. And then I landed a modeling, um, a really big modeling campaign, which then signed me with Wilhelmina. Uh, and then I started, I was doing fitness modeling and I started you know, meeting a lot of the brands and publications, magazines, and kind of making those connections within that industry. And I, and I remember thinking, I remember hate, I hated modeling. I have to be honest. I felt like you, I felt like a piece of cattle. And I hate to say that because some people love it and there's, there's a lot of skill to it in certain realms of it, but I just knew that it was not for me and that I kept feeling the need every time I was at a photo shoot to tell people that I actually really was an athlete and I had training and I want to talk about training and talk about like I wanted to be the one designing the workouts versus just being the model in them um, and then I knew that you know there was and I started meeting other experts um, in the field and being like there it, you can create a brand in this space and while there's a lot of brands out there and while there's a lot of magazines I like the idea of being personally invested, especially in something like fitness and health, where it is so mental. Um, you need that support. You need a face behind it. You need. A, I feel like there's a supporter, a personality behind it. Um, and you know, I felt like that was something I could really speak to. Well, you know, and I think it's really interesting the path that you did take. So, in Bootstrap Book Club, we're reading A Place of Yes by Bethany. I don't know if you've ever read that book. I've Bethany read it. Frankel. Yes. And she talks about yeah. one of the. Okay, yeah, good. So she talks about one of the the pillars being. Uh, all roads lead to Rome where you know you didn't really enjoy modeling but it, ca it gave you it was part of the path that you had to take really to get to where you are today would you would you say that's true I could not agree more I think I look back and you're and everything that happens whether good good or bad ugly failure or not it all leads to where you are going and it's all plays a massive factor but that doesn't mean things just happen and you're like you know, especially obstacles or failures, and you you just assume that that's the way it was to happen. It's not just what ha happens, it's how you react to it. So the same thing can ha happen to 100 people, and there's 100 different things they do with it. Some people are, are defeated, or, or they think it's not meant for them. It depends on how you decide to use what happens to you. I think that's great, and I love that you keep bringing it back to the mental, you know, whether it's fitness or business or whatever it is, so much mm -hmm. of it is how we think, and I think that comes through in a lot of your videos, too, especially the interviews you've done. Um, recently, you've done a sit you did a sit-down with Beck's Life, which is another YFE favorite, um, and you were talking about, you know, more, more, um, more personal things. And so I think it's, you know, if you haven't checked out our YouTube channel, make sure that you guys do for Amanda. But now, so let's get into more of the business items apart from, you know, your past. You're running basically Amanda Russell, the brand right now. It's Fit, Sexy, and Strong. Like Fit, we're Strong, and Sexy. Fit, yeah, Fit, Strong, and Sexy. <laughs> Fit, Strong, and Sexy dot com. Mm -hmm. And um, you have the YouTube channel. What does the actual Amanda Russell empire look like today? Oh, that's a really great question. So I just went through a great... Um, I'm we're still actually finalizing contract negotiations, but a big uh, merger slash acquisition. Um, so basically, I'm taking, and uh, you know, we've only soft lodged Fit Strong and Sexy, and we're still thinking about changing the name. So if you any of the entrepreneurs out there have good titles, bring them on because I'm not sure if I want sex 
in the title because um, if you're uh, in certain areas, you can't bring up any websites with the word sexy in them. Um, but that's besides <laughs> the point. I just realized, like, trial by fire. That's a good tip. Um, but I have um, partnered now as a 50%, 50% partner in my own name, actually, with um, Tram Entertainment, which is the um, the founders of the same creators, masterminds behind the uh, um, NBC's The Biggest Loser and The Amazing Race and so they actually took over production on my YouTube channel um, as of March wow, and congratulations thank you and I have just um, signed with a, a new manager who is exceptional in the um, fitness realm if anybody some of the biggest names from Jane Fonda to um, the Tone It Up Girls Cassio I think he represents a lot of the bigger the, the big kind of today and yesterday stars of fitness and so we've sort of all been building what I've it's kind of interesting to see what I've taken on my own and then kind of now form a team around that and what comes next and fit strong and sexy is sort of the next phase and it's going to start with this this model that I really believe in which is it's not about a generic approach it's about people being able to come and for a lot less money get a 360 for it's almost like I call it an education in itself when you come you can sign up for a subscription where you fill out a questionnaire and you can get as personal as you want and we develop customized workout programs fitness plans, um, nutrition plans, you have endless recipes, and then you also have access to my full-length workout um, video library with uh, constant ones coming out all the time. So um, basically that's sort of the step one of the phase. Um, and then from there, we're gonna build it, go through a DVD series, equipment line, I'd uh, clothing line. Um, these are all things that are sort of bigger picture to roll out along with this team. You know so, what's funny is I actually read through the profile that we did a couple of years ago, whenever that was, and um, I think one of the questions was, what's what's the, in the plans for Aman Amanda Russell? And all the things you just listed was all the things that you listed back then. I think that's oh, really <laughs> inspiring, That the idea that you know you had this in mind all along, that this is where you wanted to go to, and now it's all it's all coming to fruition. It is. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's. It, but you know what? As an entrepreneur, you know, it always feels like you are working and working and working and getting nowhere. And then sometimes you just have to just step back and realize how far you've come, um, because nothing happens today. It all takes time, and it takes a lot longer. Everything takes longer than you think, and it takes more speed bumps than you think. Um, so there's been a lot of those, and we're working through them right now. We just launched phase one of Fit Strong and Sexy, so if you sign up now, you actually get 30 days free um, of trial. Um, so I encourage you, if you're an entrepreneur, to sign up now, um, so you get those free days uh, while we work everything out. But that is sort of the direction, yes, that we're headed. Awesome. So, all right. So let's just hone in really fast before we go into the, uh, our last couple questions. So you know, you're running this big business. You have new management. Um, but one of the things that really set you apart, I feel like, from other people, going back to what you said earlier, is this this driving force, driving passion. That this is what it was in you. It was this is all you know. This is what you had to do essentially. And um, I just I saw you everywhere over the last couple of years. You know, it was being posted to my Facebook wall. It was on Twitter. It was on, people were emailing me. You had interns, you know, since we've featured you, you had an intern emailing people saying, watch Amanda's latest video. I mean, that was incredible. Like the amount of work, the planning, I'm sure that went into all of that. So today, do you have assistants? Do you have, apart from a manager, what does, what's the support team look like around you? Um, it's awesome right now. Um, I'm actually looking for, we are just transitioning. Our summer intern is going um, back to school and we're look, I'm actually looking for someone on my side to work directly with me um, come fall. So if anybody knows um, a really great person that would be a good fit, we're looking for that. But otherwise I have a big team in Hollywood, in Los Angeles, um, which is Dream Entertainment. And so they are the web, I have the web team there. We have a licensing team. Um, producers, like filmographers, so that whole side of media is there along from, from web to um, production. Um, and then my management team is also in LA and Beverly Hills, so I have one manager, and then I have, um, and then you know, I have, I have a lot of different partners um, that I work with from different brands. Um, but day to day, um, we also have a social media lead who helps a lot with the scheduling of social media, but that is just kind of recent um, and I'm still I still do majority of it myself <laughs> um, 
so yeah, I went from being one person to you know one person with an intern to um, a team of any given time oof, between probably between eight to fifteen people, depending on what stage we're in, because we also outsource some certain projects. So, how did you actually get? I mean, how did you know to approach a team? Did someone approach you as far as um, like the dream dream entertainment goes to get to that next level? How did dream. that relationship? Um, um, come? That was actually at a shoot that I was um, the 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 creator of the the creator of the Biggest Loser actually was filming a, a series mini series for Everyday Health and found me. They were looking for um, a female trainer and uh, they had three different Everyday Health uh, and the producers and a third party, the advertisers I guess, all had to um, make a short list of people that they thought would be a good fit and I came up on all three short lists. So they flew me out to LA, we shot it, and I spoke in length with them about sort of my vision for branding, and um, it, was, it was a great conversation. We got along very well because I think, you know, coming from a business background and speaking to other people, there, I think a lot of times talent is talent. There's a separation between talent and the business side, and so the fact that we were all on the same page I think was a great relationship. Um, they, um, the, found, the founder of the firm became sort of a mentor of mine, and then uh, they made me this offer a week before my wedding in December of wow. this year. Oh, how fun. Well, congrats again on that. So, all right, so my the big question here then is how did you get to this point where people were interested in you that even know that even knew who Amanda Russell was? What advice would you give for another young female entrepreneur that – you know, their big goal is to have to be on QVC to have products out there, and they're starting first with YouTube videos. What advice would you have for them to get the word out about themselves? First of all, I think if you're starting with YouTube videos, I applaud you because that is that that's the way to do it. You just got to get in front of the camera. You got to do it yourself. Um, but there is a number of things, and I speak about this actually publicly on how to drive digital traffic, and that is consistency. So number one, don't you don't put up a video and then you put up another video that's totally random like three months later. Plan it out, script it, make an outline, something consistent. The gr- beauty of YouTube is you can you can read audience reaction right away. You know exactly what's working, what's not. So use what's working, get rid of what's not. Um, the other thing is collaborating and supporting. I believe everything comes back at you 300%. So if you ever notice the really successful people, the people that are really confident in their business and what they've built are the first ones to help and really follow through. I have seen so many people, especially in my starting out, that don't respond, never follow through, all talk, and you remember that. Um, and if there's anything I can say, you get more out of helping someone else, whether or not it's a lot of work for you or a little bit of work, you never know where it's going to go. I think um, and kind of collaborating and building as many partnerships as you can um, is super important and collaborate with people that are driving traffic so find out who they are get on blogs get on YouTube and you know you see someone else that has more more viewers than you or even equal whatever it is you can't you're getting a new audience you're bringing in a new audience you know I've heard a lot of people um, speak on that too and I um it's all great ideas and I love it, but there's something between, and this is the same thing for fitness too, like getting fit, making sure that you have that 15 minutes. You know, I feel like we all know what we need to do. It's just a matter of actually doing it. So Mm -hmm. as an athlete, I'm sure you know this very well. How do you go from wanting and talking and saying, you know, knowing this is what you're supposed to be doing to actually doing? Oh my gosh, if I could, if I, if I could put one thing behind it, I, I, that's my, probably my biggest pet peeves. Everybody has a great idea. Everybody could have done this or could have been this or would could be this if they weren't doing that. Stop talking about it and simply do it. It's, it's ex- the epitome, the anal- best analogy is fitness. In the time it takes you to sit around your computer and, and, and kind of find excuses and procrastinate, you could have gotten through one of my, my whole workout videos, 15, 20 minutes, and you're done. And it, it's more powerful than a lot of 70-minute workouts. Um, so it's all about just... It's 99% in your head. You got to stop procrastinating, put an action plan together and put a timeline next to it and execute. So a great idea is one thing, but a great idea that's never going to be seen or never going to be executed is nothing. So that, and that's the same thing for a brand, any kind of business or brand, you can have the greatest product or product or service in the world, but if you don't have an audience, if no one's watching, 
then it's really not the greatest thing, is it? So it's all about getting out there. You have to get out there and get it in front of people. YouTube is great for that. I feel like the trainer and you just came out. Rawr. <laughs> get out there and make an action plan. I like it. So I want to close on that note, Amanda. Right. That was fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. Do you have any last words of wisdom and you know, being the athlete, the model, the amazing entrepreneur, the fitness trainer that you want to leave people with tonight? Absolutely. I think, you know, um, and this, I'm not saying this because I'm into my my thing happens to be fitness, but I really realized I think that's a gateway drug. It's a great gateway, gateway drug for success because um, it affects. It is about so much more than exercise. Anyone that knows me, I will has heard me say, fitness is about more than exercise. It is a catalyst for positive change in your life that trickles down onto your career, your professional and your personal relationships, and it shows you how to time manage. It's a stress release. I think you need to start there. Um, any company always wants to hire athletes because they know that they have gone through that kind of discipline and commitment. Um, and every one of us has an athlete in us. So I think that start with yourself because everything else will fall into place when you're feeling great and confident. I like that. I feel inspired. Thank you so much, Amanda. I really appreciate you coming on and talking to us. And congrats on all the things that you've been able to accomplish. I'll have to link to that initial profile so you guys can all see that. With with, um, working on yourself, like you said, staying passionate, knowing exactly what you want and going after it, um, what all that has brought you. And I feel like it will inspire a lot of other young women. Yes, we are raising the standard on what it means to be fit, strong, and sexy. That's what I that that's my mission statement for my new website. So, come be an FSS woman, and thank you so much for having me because you uh, you you've done amazing things. You're so complimentary, but I mean it's all right back at you. Thanks so much, Jen. Oh, well, thanks. Well, so Amanda, where can we find you online other than fit? FitStrongAndSexy.com. Fit. Yes. Uh, so my YouTube channel is free, so you can subscribe for free, um, and it's Amanda Russell TV. Two S's, two L's. Um, on Facebook, I am Amanda Russell Workouts, um, and then on Twitter, I am at ARFit. A R F I T. Um, Facebook, I'm kind of hard to find. I have trouble finding myself. So if you just type in facebookcom slash A is an apple Russell R U S S E L L Fit F I T A Russell Fit. Awesome. Here, I mean. Awesome. Well, Hopefully thank you again, place. Amanda. I really appreciate it. And then, um, so everyone that's watching, make sure that you at least go and subscribe to her YouTube channel and check out. And like you said, there's 30 day free trial to uh, to your website. Really cool. There is. I mean, there's a whole uh, other subject of conversation there and whether, why you do free trial, why not, that kind of thing. But we won't go there yes. tonight. Well, we're going to hard launch next month, I think, when everything, all the bells and whistles are up. So maybe we can chat again. Yeah, that would be awesome. All right. Thanks, Amanda. Thank you so much, Jen. Have a great night, everybody. Any questions you have, you can tweet to me or post to me on Facebook as well. Awesome. All right. So you've just been watching Amanda Russell from fitstrongandsexy.com. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to her YouTube channel, just make sure that you do that tonight. It's awesome. Like I said, I've been doing it since I had my son. It was a few years ago, I feel like, and I her, her workouts are intense. <laughs> I did, like I said at the very beginning, I did her six-minute abs, and my abs were on fire towards the end. I used to do that all the time, and I just started back doing it today. So we'll have to check in and let each other know if you've done it or not. So on that note, really fast before we leave, make sure that you go to uh, yfelive.com and you click on what's coming up on YFE Live because we have YFE Vegas Tech is on Wednesday, another live webcast. Just, um, I for- oh gosh, no, I don't remember who she has on. Jacqueline has on a really cool guest. Um, so make sure you go to TicketCake.com and find out who that is. And then the following Wednesday is Wifey NYC with um, Marissa Vicario. And her topic is all about customer service, customer experience. And so both of those events are going to be awesome ones to attend. So everyone, this has been Jennifer Dono with YoungFemaleEntrepreneurs.com, the host of Wifey Chat Live. And hopefully I'll see you back here again on Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 Eastern.